Hello guys and welcome to the weekly asset roundup with me, Pug Gaming. In this week's edition we have some boats, we have some more boats, and we have even more boats. Well, there's a few buildings as well, so let's do this. So to kick things off this week, we have a favorite of mine, Lost Gecko with Le Mans Corner House. Now this is sensational. What I do love about Lost Gecko is he's releasing a lot of different versatile buildings for the workshop. So whether you want to build a French based location or somewhere in Belgium or perhaps the United Kingdom, your options are open with this creator. And having a look at the detail of the building, it's of the highest quality possible, which is what we always expect now from this guy. And moving on, we also have the Le Mans House 2, which is a larger building. And what I love about this is a lot of areas for you to detail as well. You've got this backyard court area where you can put a lot of detail down and really make it your own. And up next we have these beautiful modern Dutch row houses by Durenable. Now we've also seen some nice generic low rise houses by this creator and these also add to the catalogue which I know someone like Crumbs McGee would certainly like with his current City Skyline series. Also this week Up next we have this beautiful Berlin Trep Towers by Amy Polizzi Funk. This has been a building I've been following quite a lot on the social media platforms and my word, is this a monster? Not only is it a monster but it's detailed to absolute perfection and the nighttime shots are sensational. Look at that. Titan has been extremely busy once again with these Euro Cube houses which my word, are they beautiful. The textures, the colors, everything, it just works so well. And they are a very unique style of building, one of which that are not really that common on the workshop. So this will really create a beautiful looking area. Now I don't know about you, but I'm often looking for new locations for parking and parking garages are not something we see very often, not ones that look as good as this. 220 Hertz has released this beautiful modern looking parking garage, Rico compatible, and my word, it looks brilliant at night time as well. Now it's not often a workshop update without seeing something from King Leno, and this week we start with the Pink Diamond Casino, which you can see in the far left, and also the Vinetton Hotel Tower. 
two of them look beautiful they are placed together in real life i've just put them down separately for you to see them but they look fantastic and the nighttime views well they are stunning now i promised you boats and if you've been a follower of the workshop as much as i do you will see that mick cross hill has released a huge number of boats all built for my current series project monaco but as part of this new project the idea is for me to release them and we are all going to then enjoy them from the workshop so as you can see here we are going through a couple of the smaller boats a bark 02 bark 03 and another bark boat here as well moving on to this beautiful mega yacht and there's not been that many of these size yachts on the workshop which really does limit the fact of building a lovely harbour area and obviously monaco in my opinion is the major harbour that you really expect to see these posh looking boats around so these work really well and i'm so pleased with the details that uh, mix be able to get out of these small boats they do look absolutely fantastic and there's still plenty more to come from this creator he really has gone all bars out with uh, creating new assets for the workshop he is purely the king of boats on this platform currently and I do love some of these little ones. This little yacht here looks beautiful. Fantastic model. It gives that sort of speedboat look off as well. And it'll be interesting to hear your thoughts on what other types of boats would you like to see on the workshop. As Mick is currently heavily working on a lot of boats, it'll be interesting to see if there's anything that you feel is missing at the moment from the workshop. I think this coverage of 20 odd assets of the last um, release have really established a good creativity of different boats. And we're going to finish here with this cruise ship, which was be detailed perfectly for the Monaco series and one you can place in your city. So guys, that brings us to the end of this week's asset roundup. As always, please leave your comments below. Let the creators know your thoughts on their models and give inspiration for new ideas and what you'd like to see next on the workshop. But as for me, Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe and like the video if you did so. Until next time, all the best.